Hey everybody, Jamie Arnold here of Arnold Equities. Just doing a little exterior due diligence on our uh, 24 unit that we have under contract and I figured I'd make a quick video, kind of share some of the things that we're seeing and learning and just uh, help others who might be doing this soon. Um, so some of the things you want to focus on uh, when you're doing your exterior is uh, the roof. You know, we had a contractor just here, walk through the roof, make sure there was nothing going on with any of the shingles, making sure there's no cracking, uh, missing, get an overall age of of the roof as well so that's something you definitely want to make sure you do um, check to see if there's any moss something that might have signs of the age of it as well and uh, just overall health um, siding you want to make sure the siding is looking pretty good you want to make sure that there's no damage you want to look for uh, peeling paint mold anything that might be going on it kind of gives you a hint that's that uh, stuff's going to need to be addressed uh, in those locations um, let's see here I would say Landscaping is also a good thing to look for. It'll help give you an idea for quotes for what you need to do, uh, what you need to do, but also help you give you a feel for um, overall how much it might cost to actually do work on the landscaping, uh, health of the property, um, something you want to look for are like trees, any any major overgrown trees that might need to have um, some work done to them where you're basically uh, having to trim them up or they might potentially cause damage to the property so you want to make sure that's taken care of um, garages as we are looking here at all the garages you know what is the health of the garage uh, is there any damage to any of the garage doors is uh, the roofs on the garage look good gutters drainage uh, let's see what else I would say probably some foundation issues you want to make sure there's nothing going on with any of the foundation for any of the properties uh, if there is just what it will cost to address those um, you want to make sure there's no broken windows. So when you're doing quotes for uh, your um, insurance, you got to make sure you understand your insurance requirements. Usually they want to make sure there's no broken windows. Uh, they want to know some locations of fire hydrants. So if you can point those out as well and, and give that information to them, that's pretty helpful. Uh, let's see. Lighting. You want to make sure that all the lighting on the property is looking good. You want to make sure that it's working. Um, where is it located? Is there plenty of light? What are the timers? Where are the timers? That way you can make sure that they're working correctly and you can have uh, easy access to them when you take over the property. Well, let's see here, I would say um, dumpster locations. Uh, how many dumpsters are on site and if so, where are they? And just making sure that uh, they're not in a situation where somebody could block them from keeping them from getting emptied. So this one happens to be in a good spot, so there's no chance for somebody to park in front of them and, and keep keep our, the trash company from coming in and uh, taking it away. So overall, quite a bit of stuff, but as you start doing this process more and more, you'll get a feel for what to look for. So just create a, a due diligence checklist and just go through it. And uh, hopefully when we do the uh, interior um, due diligence, I can make another video and give some more tips. Thanks, everybody. Bye.